the year was about 1977. I was 14, 15. I was walking home from school. My home and school were about five miles, so I walked to school and back every day about five miles, 10 miles a day about. But I was walking home from school after school and I was almost to my house. I was on my street. And in the corner of my eye, I seen something in the middle of the road. So I went over to see what it was, and it was an 8-track tape. Some of y'all know what 8-track tapes are. Some of y'all will probably not. I think cassettes, cassette tapes, were starting to come out about that time. But I didn't know anybody that had cassettes back then. I didn't. I only had albums and 8-track tapes. And I had tons of both. Um, I stored my 8-track tapes in... They looked like big briefcases. And you would take... It had like little slots. You would open up the briefcase looking thing. And it would have little slots. And you would put like... Um, the cassettes and those little slots, I think each case that I had held like 12, I had like six of those. So I had tons of eight track tapes. So I saw that it was an eight track tape and it looked like it had been partially run over. The casing was cracked a little bit and the, the tape itself was broken. So I turned it over and I saw the most beautiful picture that I ever saw at that time. It was a beautiful, beautiful white owl with its wings spread and it was in the snow. And I was like, that is so cool looking. And it had rush on the top. So I was like, you know something? I bet I could take this home and fix it. So that's exactly what I did. I took it home. I popped the broken part, the casing. I popped it back to where the casing was flush again. I meticulously cut some scotch tape in a little tiny itty bitty thin strip about that long. And I took those two ends to the eight track tape that was broken and I taped it, I spliced it back together. And I put it in my eight track tape player. And I was like, I wonder what this, who this is, what it sounds like. So I played it and I think, I think the first song that I heard from this eight track tape and from Rush, I never heard of Rush before. I think it was this song called in the end and I thought that it was one of the most beautiful songs that I've ever heard and I played I played the whole eight track tape and everything I couldn't believe what I was hearing this was the most unique music, the most unique band that I've ever heard of at that time. But I kept going back to that song in the end because it did something to me. It made me feel something. I thought it was so beautiful, especially the opening when Alex Lifeson, I didn't know who Alex Lifeson was then, but he was playing the most beautiful song from his guitar and I listened to the words and I think even though the music was the most beautiful thing the lyrics was to me meant even more because at that time I was going through a lot of bad times mentally physically 
but those words spoke to me, especially a couple of lyrics. And I can feel what you feel. It just makes me, it just makes you stronger. You can take me, you can make me smile in the end. Yes, you can. There's a couple of other verses in here that it's like it spoke to me. And at that time, and I sort of still feel this way, I, I knew who God was, but I didn't know him. Um, I just know he was supposed to be something out there in the sky. And how he was supposed to be the creator of everything. I didn't know a lot about God because both my parents were pretty much atheists. So we didn't have any Bibles in the house. Nobody talked about God or anything. But for some reason, I felt like God was talking to me and speaking to me through this song and through the words and the lyrics. And today, this is still one of the most, it's still one of the songs that means more to me than anything else because the day that I listened to this song, I felt like God was trying to communicate. So I want to make this my song of the day. I'll put a link in the description and you can listen to it and I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Love you guys.